Just a week has gone by since the death of Lakin Riley, a 22 year old nursing student who was murdered while running alone at the University of Georgia. Well, since her murder, there has been an uproar of emotions among female runners across the nation and of course right here at home. And they've expressed everything from fear to sadness to an overall sense of helplessness. Tonight, we asked the question, how can these women look to achieve their goals and stay safe? I be an easy target for people who are not doing well and need some relief of their anger or whatever because there is absolutely no any reason other than finding a, an unprotected victim. That's all. Irina is a board member of the Sioux Falls Women Run Group, which was created as a safe space for female runners in the area to connect and look out for one another. The group has over 3,000 members and it gives these women an opportunity to run with others. However, for many, the appeal of a solo run can be beat. Solo runs are some people's safe place. It is your place to be one on one. It's a beautiful place to be. But now this image of a safe space has been tarnished. Female runners questioning if their pepper spray, taser or even a firearm will protect them on their next run. A local self-defense academy says the best way to defend yourself is with the tools you were born with. Learning how to have uh, defensive skills to keep somebody away, to keep distance, and then to know what to do if someone is attacking you, to be able to use those skills to defend yourself. Sydney Meza, who founded the Empowerment Center in Sioux Falls, which is to help women protect themselves, says to be aware of your surroundings and that it's always important to trust your gut when being approached by a stranger may be acting like the nicest guy in the world and your brain may be telling you if you assert a boundary right now he's going to think you're crazy but here's the thing when it comes to your personal safety politeness is not the way to go she also acknowledges that for many women who may find themselves in a situation where they're about to be attacked they freeze her advice is to practice so if your brain goes blank your body will know what to do she's establishing a very strong physical boundary, her body language is conveying confidence and she's meant firm. If I take a step, she moves with me, creating and maintaining the distance. If I take a step towards her, she's backing up, absolutely. Even if I get a hold of her hips, she's able to use her body to frame and create counter pressure. Now what this does is it makes it very uncomfortable for me to be able to hold on, allowing herself to release herself, not using strength, but angles, and making it uncomfortable for me as a bad guy. In addition to self-defense, other useful tips to stay safe while exercising alone include sharing your location with friends or family, letting them know how long you expect to be out, and not using headphones. For more information on the Empowerment Center and their self-defense classes, check out this story on dakotanewsnow.com.